Hello and welcome. It's Jolly Cube. I'm going here on the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. And I'm doing a piece of art today on this 40 by 40 canvas. And I'm going to um, use my mini blower. I haven't used it for quite a while, so I'm going to use my mini blower. Definitely want you to focus on the good and live in the moment. That's what I'm, exactly what I'm gonna do now. And of course, I will be using somewhere along this track, my trusty old balloons. Fantastic piece of art tool I will be using. And yesy, yesy, let's get started. So, my dog's giving me funny looks. Uh, <laughs> Not that she doesn't normally. <laughs> I'm going to just start the base with a coat of um, squirting my white on. So this is my normal acrylic paint, which is um, uh, Global Impasto. I've got a few messy bits in there. I could actually do this, um, spread it out with my uh, little... Um, what do you call it? Ah. Sponge brush. But I just chose to do it with the offset spatula, which I also like. But I'm going to go over the edges with my fingers. Um, it's a nice way to make sure you've got your edges coated. Nice and easy way, actually. This doesn't matter. It's going to get... Um, worked on anyway so just wanted to have a nice amount of paint on that there and as usual i've forgotten my i always forget to bring over a cloth which is important to wipe your dirty bits up so always have a cloth handy i just keep reusing and re-washing right here i wanted some something really nice and colour filled and a summer gardenish because I know um, yeah lots of you are having summer at the moment and we're in winter but it's, it's always bright and uplifting. I have some of my champagne gold which is 50% gold and 50% silver metallic so it really makes this lovely champagne colour which I just love. Ooh, sorry about it. I want to squirt every last bit out. As you hear in the bottom of all of my bottles I, of paint I make up, I put um, some marbles so it helps the paint mix. But just when you come to squeeze in the last dribbles out, the marbles um, block it up a little bit. But that's absolutely fine. Rightio, now I'm going to use some of this lovely uh, magenta, all these colours have been pre-made up, so my dogs have come in and decided they're going to have a party I think, hey you guys, behave, oh I tell you that magenta and that gold looks just stunning, now I'm going to add some purple in the mix. always love this particular style it's always um, fun to do and you usually get a winner winner chicken dinner rightio and to brighten the whole thing some yellow mm -hmm. Ooh. and then we'll go with some bright red, which I think is the cool red. The cool, it's pretty cool. Yeah. One of my favorite styles to do is like, you can just go crazy and it's, it's all good. All good. A bit more white in here. Just a tiny bit of 
tiny bit of the real, I think I've got some darker purple here, like my very delicious, I'll just check it. Oh, it kind of, don't want too much, I guess, of that, because it's pretty dark. So there's a bit of that in there. And then I will add along the bottom, or, or should I say the top edge, this is the um, ultraviolet purple and it's just mixed with Floetrol. So I'm going to add some of that here because I want to blow some of the paint upwards. So I'm going to add, and this is the white with only Floetrol. Because I want to blow these paints upwards to um, give it some movement. Radio. Let's. That's my next stage. I'll just see what I get with this. I'm going to use this little mini blower. If you're looking, it's called the world's smallest blower. Um, I have got a link at Capriol Shabby Chic online that I got this from, and you can also get attachments. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think this attachment comes with it. But it's good because it gives the whatever you're blowing a nice shape. Okay, let's do this thing. Okay, I'll bring the, the camera down in a second. That's given some lovely wispy effect. I'm gonna just use my stronger blower to blow some of that white. Like that. Now I just want to blow it all up. I wonder if I do that. Oh, probably not. I have to, I'll stick with the plan, I think. So I'm going to put another line of this purple along here. And I'm going to use my soft plastic file divider to actually swipe the opposite way now. Jeez, ah, Louise come down so just tipping the very tip of the file divider into the paint oh wowzers wowzers it's like a million um gems in there i'm gonna just wipe it off on the end so the paint just drips over the end Drop the file divider into your colours. Oh, that is a winner winner chicken dinner. Those colours will just fall over the edge. Beautiful. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty, pretty, pretty. Radio. I'm going to just hit it with my heat gun. Now I will get a small piece, a smaller piece of plastic to um, help me with some embellishments, which I need a thin piece, so oh, 
course you can always cut a thin piece up just got this plastic that I've obviously used a um, trillion times and I'm just gonna do some nice little tendrils tendrils is that what you call them so it gives a really nice feathering effect and I'll bring the camera down close to see this effect you'll see how <laughs> it's just gorgeous it just really yeah I think adds to your piece oh always oh, so pretty 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 okie doke now when it's at this stage you can either just leave it to dry off for even half an hour to allow the paint to soak into the canvas if you're not very or you don't consider yourself very good at doing balloon kisses it is a better way to do it, it allows the paint to dry in to the canvas a little and absorb some of the paint and get just slightly tacky but not too tacky that it lifts back up on the balloon so I am going to just leave this for maybe 15 or 20 minutes and I'll come back and balloon it. But I want to bring you down and have a look at that gorgeous cells in there. Just look, looky, looky at these absolutely phenomenally gorgeous effects in there. Couldn't dream it. You couldn't dream it. <laughs> if I dreamed in colour like this, you would never want to wake up. Absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning. Look at those. That bird you can hear in the background is the black cockatoo. Out in my yard. Wow, wow, wow. Um, because I have the metallic in there in the gold, it's really left it lot of, like glistening in there. And then those bits and the tendrils. See, they've got nice lacy effects even in the tendrils. So on with the next exciting bit. Okie dokie, back to the drawing board with the gorgeous, gorgeous balloon artefacts on it. So, the balloon art magic. Let's uh, grab your balloon, put it in between those, what, second and third finger. Hold the belly button, so the balloon's nice and soft, not too taut. And then you can really put, you know, a good pressure on it providing you've got the oh look at the cells in that providing you've got the right paint paint texture I happen to have a spare canvas here so I'm going to do two for one and start loading some of my balloon kisses up onto the canvas yummy yummy okie doke just try wiping your balloon off in between every balloon kiss because it'll just stop your paint from going muddy. Then I will wipe it off again. I'll do those all along the top. Absolutely gorgeous. Those colors are really really gorgeous together really bright and uplifting so if you need to check them out to re um, if you want to uh, do a piece of art in the same color just um, check out the colors that uh, that i mentioned as i layered them and write them down and go for it enjoy so this literally is going to be a balloon covered balloon kiss canvas the second one I'm going back over those areas I've kissed in probably better to do it with my 
balloon that I just put a bit of water in it. So I just kiss back in the center of where I've already done that, done the balloon kisses. Um, and it just leaves a really nice um, effect in there. Sort of really finishes off the flowery look, I guess. No, oh, I've run out of space on the other canvas, but that's good. That's good. I think I'll try and do some more little balloon embellishments so it looks like oh butterflies and firefly. Oh look at that. They are gorgeous. Radio, let's try. That might be a bit too much paint on it to dip straight away up here. If I want to get some little light delicate effects, like they look like, like um, those really do look like dragonflies. I think that's going to be too much there, but let's see. Oh, that's really adding to a beautiful summer garden effect. Super duper. Okay, I think I'll just use the bigger balloon to do a few more down in this area. So, oh, oh look at that. Have to wipe it off. These are rolling off the bottom. So to really make a beautiful kind of feathered effect on the bottom of the canvas. I think that's all I need to do with that size balloon. Maybe as it dries I will just embellish it a little bit more with this small balloon. But those are absolutely gorgeous. I've done this one oh, quite a while ago now, the same as this on a hexagon canvas and it turned out absolutely beautiful. Um, that's down in Sydney now, should be at my brother's house if my darling granddaughter has delivered it like she should have. Righty-o, I think that is gorgeous. I'm going to bring you down, have a look at this. It is really stunning, stunning.